All right, everybody, Black Clover Chapter 193 is finally here, and I'm just going to give you guys a, a quick rundown of what happened and my predictions of what I think will happen moving forward. So at the beginning of the chapter, we get some Noelle versus Fauna. Noelle having her magic recovered by Charmy. We see her in her Valkyrie dress going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Fauna. We've seen a lot of growth from Noelle with... Uh, her magic control uh we even see her state in this fight that she's not gonna hold back she's going all out to which she proceeds to blow the entire top half of fauna off however the forbidden magic the forbidden recovery magic is super broken fauna is able to recover her entire top half like i'm not even sure what the limits on this forbidden recovery magic are we're looking at like some hyper healing kid boo levels of regen here but then right after that it cuts to asta and mimosa versus is real um asta is definitely going to have a hard time with real just like i kind of thought he would i feel like asta doesn't do well or won't do well if he has to fight multiple opponents and real can literally just create a endless horde of just things for that asta would have to fight and granted he can probably more or less one shot a lot of these things but nothing stopping him from creating like i said an endless horde so Asta and Mimosa are going to team up here. As for how this is going to go, I'm not for sure. Just because uh, we see that Asta and Mimosa end up combining or just... Or Asta more or less just instructs Mimosa to tie herself to him. So, I mean, granted, he, he will be constantly getting healed. Just that he doesn't really have much of an opportunity to transform into his black form. Uh, then after that, it finally flashes back to some of the other fights happening outside of that other dimension with uh, some of the black bulls fighting then shortly after that finally our boy you know has returned um but he has with him an entire small ragtag group of random magic knights that he's just collected on his way here and they lead like a mini attack on some of the reincarnated elves of the golden dawn uh one thing i think it's really important to note is that you know amass this small army and is leading them all ex extremely efficiently which is kind of strange considering how anti-social you know is but it's still pretty dope to see nonetheless and then of course we get more of charmy and you know and even more of the funny arguing between bell and charmy but once some of the fighting is taken care of uh you know basically gets the rundown from charmy but uh, in the midst of that, his necklace or pendant thing starts to glow and it opens up a portal to that other dimension. And it appears to transport him in uh, along with Charmy. And I believe Nero sneaks in as well just because uh, we get a quick panel of him. So I believe he also sneaks in. However, once in the other dimension, we only get uh, like one or two pages after that. And all we get is Charmy has been transported to where Asta and Mimosa are. Now, I highly doubt that Yuno is there also just because if he was there, I feel like we would have got him shown instead of Charmy. But nonetheless, I do think Charmy being there with Asta and Mimosa will be a great help just because Charmy can heal Mimosa and then Mimosa can then in turn heal Asta. As for where Yuno has been transported to, I mean, I doubt he's been transported there just because like I just said, we we didn't see him. My predictions for what will happen though with uh, Charmy being transported to where Asta and Mimosa are will definitely greatly help their chances against the Elven reincarnation of Rill. Uh, just because Charmy is better suited to create a opening than Mimosa is. Just because Mimosa literally only has like one attack spell. Whereas Charmy is very much all purpose. She can kind of do anything. She has like a really amazing magic. Not to mention her ability to re recover Mimosa's magic is super useful just because Mimosa is able to heal Asta. Which Asta's like actual strength and his black form both come from his actual physical strength. Uh, just because he doesn't have any magic. So that, that'll be really useful. Um, as for where Yuno know, could have gone, I truly have no idea where they transported Yuno. Know. Like, like it doesn't make sense for him to get transported with um, with Fogolion or his sister. Or it doesn't make sense for him to get transported with the other captains like Nozel or Jack or Yami. Um, honestly, if he's been transported anywhere, I think he'll end up with Noel or off somewhere by himself. Maybe to fight Partry or something like that. Um, definitely really hyped chapter. Glad to see that uh, Tabata is moving this along. Um, I was kind of worried that this was going to drag just because of how many fights and how many events we have to get through to the ending. But it looks like he's definitely moving this along. Um, out of 10, I give this chapter a solid 7. Had some solid hype. Moved the uh, plot along. But if you enjoyed this, I'm going to try to do more chapter reviews in the future. Also, side note. 
uh, my giveaway has officially started. Uh, the link for it is down below. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I really just want to give back. The community is super hype. I love you guys. So make sure you try to get in on the giveaway and score yourself either some socks or a wallet. Um, outside of that, I'll catch you guys later.